Ani, my name is Amber Sandy, and I'm here today to show you how I tan fish skins to make leather to use for art or all sorts of projects. And I've partnered with Create to Learn to bring you two sets of videos. So this is video one. You can keep your eyes out for video two. Make sure you follow Create to Learn on Instagram, and you can follow hashtag Create to Learn to see other instructional videos just like this. Today we're going to be tanning perch skins, and these skins were donated by some ice fishermen who um, didn't need the skins. And when I get fish skins that are fresh, I like to package them in between parchment paper or wax paper so that I can freeze it easily and then uh, just come in and grab as many as I want to use at a time. So we have three perch skins that we'll be working on and we have three different tanning methods um, that I'm going to show you how to do. The first one is a bark tanning method. So it uses the bark from trees that have a lot of tannins in them, but since I live downtown Toronto and in the city, I don't really have access to bark super easily. So I'm actually going to use red rose tea, and that's because this tea has a lot of tannins in it. So we'll make a really concentrated tea bath for it, and the skin uh, will absorb all those tannins and that's what will help make it turn into leather. The second method is the egg tanning method. So I've already separated two egg yolks here. That's all we need to tan fish skins um, is the yolk. And what it does is it uses all of the fats in this egg yolk to help break down some of the skin and make it nice and soft and turn it into leather as well. And then the third method we'll be using is this mixture here, which is 50% isopropyl alcohol, and it has to be 99%, um, and 50% vegetable glycerin. And the other thing that's in here is fabric dye to make it pink. So whatever fish skin comes out of this will be pink. Um, this is not a traditional method at all but it works pretty well to make a really interesting skin and I like adding dye to it as well so that you can make different colors and this mixture can be used over and over again as well so I've already used this before and we're gonna try it again the other things you'll need for this are Dawn dish soap and you need this because it's the best at cutting grease and oil so it'll help to take all of the oils out of the fish skin before we put it in the tanning solution. You're going to need some cold soapy water like we have right here. You have to make sure that you don't put fish skins in warm or hot water because they'll start to disintegrate right away. And two tools that you'll need to do this are a butter knife and a spoon. And a spoon is my favorite, but both of them work, work really well. The first thing we have to do to prepare the fish before we put them in their tanning solution is to descale them if they still have scales. So these perch still have their scales on them um, and we'll have to take those off. You can tan fish skin with the scales on, um, but eventually they will come out and I personally think it makes a lot nicer solution if the scales are off. Um, and then we'll have to flush it out. So all of this meat that's still in here, we'll have to scrape all of that out using our tools. So to take the scales off the fish, you just have to run your knife or your spoon over it until all of the scales are off. This part can be a little bit messy so be prepared for scales to fly all over if you have uh, fish skin with scales on it. Now I just have to flush them. So basically all you're doing is using a spoon like this and you're scraping at that flesh to get it all off. Just like that. Fish skin is really tough, so you don't have to feel like you need to be really fragile. Um, obviously, it's, it's best if you can try not to get holes in your skin. I have a few holes here, which is totally fine. Um, it'll, still, it'll still tan really nicely. So once you're done that, 
you want to just stick your skin in your cold soapy dawn water bath and we're just gonna let it sit in there while we scrape out these other skins after your skins have sat in the soapy water for a couple minutes you're gonna want to just work in the soap to make sure that it's penetrating the skin and getting all of those oils out this is gonna help the skin uh, better absorb whatever tanning agents we're using to tan it. So it's a really important step. It also helps to take some of that fishy smell out of the skin as well. So when you're happy with the amount that your skins have been washed and you think it's ready, um, you can just rinse it off in cold water, again, cold water. So I have this bowl here with just empty cold water. Next, we're gonna dry them out. Our skins are all dry and ready to go into their tanning solutions. So the first one I'll do is this I'm gonna stick my skin in just like that and already you can see like how well it takes the color so I think it's gonna look really great when it's done okay so that skin is in and I you always want to make sure that your skin has lots of room in the tanning solution so that more solution can get and oh, touch all of the uh, surface area of the skin so that one's good. We're gonna set that aside and let this sit for 24 hours and this will be ready for us to pull out tomorrow to dry. The next we have our egg yolk and I'm gonna do this piece in the egg yolk and all it is is rubbing it around in this egg yolk. So once you have uh, your skin fully coated in the egg mixture. I like to give it one last dip, um, fold it up, just like that, make it a neat little package. And we're gonna put it in this jar overnight. And you can toss the rest of your yolk on top of it just so that it uh, soaks all of that up. And we're gonna put a lid on that and toss it in the fridge for the night. Here is our red rose tea mixture. Uh, you can tell it's very dark. So all of those tea bags have released their tannins and we have to let this cool down. So I'll let it cool down for a couple hours. Then I'll toss the fish skin in it in a jar, just like I did with the other two. And I'll leave that sitting out this one doesn't have to be refrigerated. That's the end of day one. We have all of our fish skins in these jars. They're gonna sit overnight. The tea one will have to wait for about a week, but I have another one sitting in tea that I'll actually pull out to show you what happens after a week or longer of sitting in there. Um, but tomorrow we'll be able to pull these two out and dry them, and I'll show you the next steps for that. So miigwech for uh, following along.